Yeah, as tensions rising in the region, we have learned that North Korea this morning has fired two more ballistic missiles. This is its 28th such test so far this year. It comes just days after the start of this South Korean Joint Marine, Navy and Air Force amphibious landing operation drill that's due to wrap up today. And it also took place today's missile launches ahead of a planned U.S.-South Korea Air Force military drill, a large-scale drill that will kick off on Monday, October the 31st. This is what we learned from South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staffs earlier today. Two short-range ballistic missiles were fired by North Korea roughly around noon local time. We do have a statement from the JCS saying that they are indeed on alert. According to the JCS, quote, our military has strengthened its surveillance and vigilance, and it is maintaining a fully prepared posture while closely cooperating with the U.S., unquote. Now, after the launches today, the U.S. military is, of course, consulting with its allies, watching the situation, while also saying that these launches pose no immediate threat. According to the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, quote, while we have assessed that this event does not pose an immediate threat to U.S. personnel or territory or to our allies, missile launches highlight the destabilizing impact of the DPRK's unlawful WWD, WMD and ballistic missile programs. The U.S. commitments to the defense of the Republic of Korea and Japan remain ironclad, unquote. Uh, North Korea has been carrying out a flurry of missile tests. Just a few weeks ago, it fired a missile over Japan, the first such missile test since 2017. This year alone, it's fired more missiles, um, this highest level of, of missile tests um, since Kim Jong-un took power in 2011. And tension in particular is rising between the two Koreas. Earlier this week, we had North and South Korea have that exchange of warning shots at sea. Um, and that followed another provocative event where in mid-October, we saw South Korean warplanes scrambling in response to North Korean military jets that were touching too close to their shared and heavily fortified military border. Um, look, the world is also watching for any possible nuclear test to be conducted and led by the North Korean leader, um, Kim Jong-un. He has been giving more harsh rhetoric, suggesting that they have the capability to do so. If such a nuclear test takes place, that would be the first such nuclear test to be conducted since 2017. The U.S. and its allies in the region, Japan and South Korea, have said in the event of another nuclear test, they have agreed upon what they call an unparalleled response. Back to you, John.